we have a uh, very serious problems in this country um, I mean problems that a lot of people do not understand because our society and our country um, and the educational system is always geared towards trying to solve spiritual problems with natural means and as long as we continue to avoid the spiritual implications or the spiritual sides of things um, we're not going to have any solutions for the problems that we're facing this video right here is about racism and about the almost 90 percent media blackout of what happened I got a video right here where a bunch of young white men got drunk found a black man beat him to death or just about to death and then jumped in a truck and ran him over now I'm gonna mirror this from the young Turks and let them do uh, the media side of it I just want you to listen to it and watch it and the reason why I'm bringing this up because you see Pastor Dow I live in Lafayette Tennessee they call it Lafayette here and while many people want to think that racism is dead and it's not alive at least they try to put that in their conscious yet and still we have these atrocities and these injustices on a daily basis perpetuated upon the people of color um, that, that are evident but yet and still the media blackout and, and the social engineering that has taken place to discard uh, any thing that happens right in front of our very eyes is appalling and amazing to me and the reason why I brought up that I live in Lafayette Tennessee because I want you to listen to me they got this little board thing called Topics, T-O-P-I-X. And there are people who have never been down here, who have never known me, never visited me. And they get on this Topics thing, they gossip and slander. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because of this. The prevalent religion up here in Christianity is the Missionary Baptist Church. And there's one thing that I've learned about that particular church and I want you to listen to me real close um, you can commit adultery you can lie commit fraud cheat steal um, do injustices um, run around and break every single commandment of God as well as the laws and all you have to do is get up in church repent from your sins and then uh, tell everybody you've been called to preach and the next thing you know you're a preacher well, we don't live by those double standards. Um, and I think more than anything, the reason why the people are upset with me is because, I mean, it's not hard to see that I'm a black man. But number two, I don't scare so easy. And then uh, number three, number three is, is that I refuse to raise our children in an environment and send them to this public school up here to where I know for a fact that racism not only is it in the politics up here but you should see your own self what even our brothers and sisters our Caucasian brothers and sisters have to endure in this county just because they are associated with me uh, a black preacher now most people want this stuff to fly under the radar and try to treat it as if it doesn't exist but you can see that it's evident that personally Pastor Dow I judge the content and, and the character of a man's spirit and nature because if it wasn't so I wouldn't have um, all of these Caucasian brothers and sisters that not only live with me but actually attend church and drive great distances why I don't believe in racism one bit shape fashion or form um, that still doesn't negate people from being racist towards me now that's their personal problem that's their prerogative after all it is a free country um, but if you want to be a racist, now this is my stance, you can be a racist, but your racism, if you bring it to me, is going to stop right here at me. Uh, meaning that once it comes into my environment, then I'm charged to handle it according to as I see fit. Now, as long as people out there lying, slandering, gossiping, and, and uh, it's amazing because you see, I, I believe in keeping the commandments. You can't be what you call a member here at Straightway or even attend this church if you're going to live in adultery if you're going to live in fornication if you're going to um, live an immoral life and break the commandments there's no way I won't allow it there's no way 
we homeschool our children and we pay a lot of money to do it because we want our children to grow up um, and they're very well mature. My son graduated high school at 16 years old. My little girl graduated 16 years old. Um, she's in her fifth year seeking some higher degree right now at Western Kentucky University and she's 21 years old. So I, I teach my assembly to be educated. I really truly do. Um, mostly in the scriptures. But racism is alive and well and does exist. And this county that I live in lets me know um, every single day how much they reject the color of my skin rather than the character of a man that I am. And the reason why I'm hated is not because I break commandments or I live in sin or I do anything wrong to these people. The reason why I'm hated is because I'm black. It's just a fact and it's the truth. Um, but I thank the Most High because the majority of the people who listen to me are, are well past the immaturity of um, trying to judge me based on the color of my skin. But I tell you what, it still doesn't stop it. This is a very disturbing story and account that's coming up. Um, it's it's, it's, it's heart-wrenching again and the reason why I bring these things up to you because I don't want you to ignore the underlying spirit that's flying under the radar and what's going on. I said it once, I said it a thousand times. The enemy of our soul, the devil, has a people that is subject to him to do his will. And the people who are racist and the people who promote racism and the people who actually perpetuate these injustices, whether it makes no difference. You're not to do evil towards another person. See, I'm an Israelite, and so it's my job to teach the people the laws, the statutes, and the commandments to all the nations, to those who have the ears to hear. And the ones who don't have the ears to hear is none of my business. Go ahead on. Um, but it's our job to get, that, get, get them out there. Um, it's pretty sad. It's heart-wrenching. And, and what's even more sadder, is the total media blackout. Why come this is not on Fox News? This just happened a few days ago. I think they said that CNN gave a little small block, but after that, they're done with it. Why is it that it's not in the mainstream news media? I mean, they have some valid points here. I bring this up um, because I want you to be educated. I want you to start using independent thinking. Use some self-autonomy so that you won't be deceived by people's words. Pay attention. Um... This county hates me because we live holy here at Straightway. And I could care less what people say. Now, I guess that's one of the big things is they know that they don't, whatever they say, it don't have no effect on me whatsoever at all, period. Um, now, while they don't believe in the death penalty, I personally believe, according to the scriptures, that as these young men have done, so shall it be done to them because when Jesus the Christ Yahshua HaMashiach come back he's going to commit what you people call um, a genocide and this genocide is going to be on all nations and the Christ he is going to kill a lot of people a lot of people and the blood is going to flow up to the horse's bridle he's going to take vengeance and these are the days of vengeance that we're living in, whether people understand it or not. So don't try to make all the preachers and teachers Jesus, because they ain't. I'm a pastor, and I'm more or less functioning after the office of a pastor and the apostles and the prophets. And that's for sure. And that's the reason why people can't understand the faith of the Israelites. But this is very disturbing, um, and you're going to be disturbed. And this is going to create a lot of dialogue. You're going to find out even more so who races or who are or who is racist um, by watching this video. But I'm appalled. See, I understand that America is a racist country. I know that. And because I know that, I know how to move and I know how to function and I know how to conduct and I know how to deal with people. Watch this. Forty-nine-year-old James Craig Anderson from Mississippi was killed by two truckloads of white teenagers in Mississippi. Um, the 
it's a horrible situation. CNN did a report on this. In fact, Anderson Cooper talked about it on his show. We have a little bit of the video for you guys later. But essentially what happened was uh, these teenagers were at a party. They were getting drunk. Um, they're very much uh, into white power. Mm -hmm. And they decided after getting drunk that they were just going to get into their cars and look for the first black man that they can find and literally beat him up to death. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, they found a black man, they beat him up, and then they got in their car and ran over him. He died. We have a video surveillance uh, of them doing so. Um, it's a little graphic, so, it, you know, just I'm warning you before we watch the video. Now let's watch. According to witness statements, at first James Craig Anderson was beaten and taunted with racial slurs. Surveillance video shows white teens going back and forth in what prosecutors say was a continuous beating of the victim. As one of the teens walks back to the cars after beating Anderson, he pumps his fist in the air and shouts, white power, according to a motel security guard. Then some of the teens got in the white SUV and drove away, leaving Anderson beaten and lying on the ground. Daryl Dedman apparently wasn't through. He had two girls in his truck as he was leaving this parking lot, a big F-250 pickup truck. James Craig Anderson, the man who was beaten almost to a pulp, was stumbling down this curb. That's when police say Daryl Dedman hit the gas, jumped the curb, and ran right over his victim, smashing him. Okay, so that's a little more detail into what they did, how they did it. Um, so one of the trucks did leave. However, 18-year-old um, Daryl Dedman stayed uh, because he wanted to finish the job. Mm -hmm. So now let's watch and see what he did. This is what was caught on that tape, obtained exclusively by CNN. We warn you, it is disturbing. A video capturing what prosecutor Robert Shuler Smith says is pure racial hatred and murder. Here you see James Craig Anderson in a hotel parking lot as he first comes into view in the lower right corner of the screen. This is after he was beaten, according to law enforcement officials. He staggers into the headlights of Mr. Dedman's truck. The truck backs up and surges forward suddenly, running right over the defenseless man. Take a look again as the approaching headlights glow on Anderson's shirt, then disappears under the truck. That's hideous. So, two thoughts about this. Uh, now, we don't believe in the death penalty, so I believe those kids should go to prison for life, all of them. Okay, I think it's a no-brainer. So, now people will uh, bring up, this is a race-related crime, hate crime, etc. Well, obviously, it is the yield mm -hmm. white power, etc. But to me, I've always thought that that's not as relevant as other people think it is, okay? If they had not yelled white power and they had yelled anything else, you know, uh, I would find it irrelevant. I would still want all of them to serve life sentences. Because how do you beat this defenseless guy for whatever reason, random reason, racism, whatever it might be, and then run him over with a car? All right, well, you're all going to prison forever. Okay, that's my take on it. Uh, I don't know what you can do to them on top of that, because I believe they should get the maximum. But the second part uh, that I found interesting is how small this story is. Mm -hmm. Like, So we're covering it. Obviously, CNN covered it to their credit, and they found the footage, etc. I feel, and I might be wrong about this, but that if a bunch of black teenagers uh, went and found a white guy and then, you know, murdered him like this and beat him up to a pulp, ran him over their car, that it would be the largest story in the country all over the place. Can you imagine if a group of Arab kids did it? Oh. <laughs> or or uh, undocumented immigrants. If Mexicans had crossed the border and a bunch of them had gone and killed a, a white guy in Arizona like this and then run him over, would that not be the largest story in the country? I mean, I, you tell us, but it, to me, I, on first blush, I would think that would be an enormous story. Right. This one is a small story that we're covering. Again, credit to CNN, et cetera, but it's not making national headlines. 
Uh, look, our country has a huge race issue that I think is underestimated. I, I think that people truly believe that racism doesn't exist anymore, especially in the South. People believe that, hey, if you're fl flying the Confederate flag, it doesn't mean that you're racist. You know, people have these crazy ideas that we've completely moved on from it. And look, I grew up with, in a generation, and especially in, the, in Los Angeles, where it's completely diverse. I haven't had to deal with any type of um, racism. I haven't seen racism personally. But I, I wouldn't deny the fact that we still have have a huge race problem and I think the, re the fact that we're kind of turning our backs to it and pretending like it doesn't exist that's the most negative part about it because we can't fix it if we don't acknowledge it. The beautiful thing um, about having understanding is, is not everybody has th this type of soul, this type of heart or these type of attitudes. Um, I hope that you can get it and I hope you can understand. I really truly do um, but I do know that faith comes by hearing and that's the truth but the truth is some people have been raised a certain way um, that you're not going to do anything about it it's just part of their culture part of their heritage and their lineage um, that's why Pastor Dow teaches and believes in self-preservation because if you don't preserve yourself then nobody else is going to do it for you. And I don't believe that somebody should perpetuate or do injustices or harm to another person based on the color of their skin because that's the way they have been trained and bought up. I hope that one day somebody don't think that they're going to run up on Pastor Dow like that because I promise you um, it's not going to turn out pretty good for those. You better learn how to protect your families. You better come out of this false, pagan, satanic, sun-worshiping religion called Christianity and come into faith. Because religion is really truly the problem. The faith is not the problem. Religion is the problem. Because religion is stupid and religion does not give you the understanding that you need in order to be in the faith of Abraham. And that's what I preach and that's what I teach and that's the reason why that all these people who have all these so-called problems and trouble with me, you see how many times I do it? They never take me up on this open debate or this open dialogue. Oh, I, I'm a civil man. We can have civil dialogue, but the truth is they don't want to get to the truth. The only truth that there ever is to them is what's already in their mind. So listen to me. If you listen to me, you'll make it to the kingdom. Yeah, we will. We will make it to the kingdom, but we're not going to make it to the kingdom fallen pagan satanic Christianity and that is the truth and that's the truth straightway come out of her my people